My name is Dan Smith. I live in uh, Sheffield Lake, Ohio. And I'm gonna give it, get this right here. I'm gonna say I've been married so many years, I gotta better forget this right now. <laughs> I've been married to my wife, Nancy, for 41 years, going on 42. We have three grown sons, five grandchildren, and we have a great grandson on the way. I retired from the city of Avon Lake. I was the chief operator at the wastewater plant for 33 years. I never thought I would become a victim of a stroke. Wednesday, April 18th, uh, 2012, started out just like any other day. I was at my gym in Avon, EMH Center for Health and Fitness, and I was warming up on the elliptical for a spinning class I was gonna take. As I got on the elliptical, and I was going along pretty good, and I just felt a little funny, like something was not quite right. And then I was losing focus with my eyes, and that's when my legs gave out. Paramedics were called uh, from the Avon Fire Department and transported me next door to the EMH emergency facility. My wife said they were very compassionate. Again, I was in and out of consciousness. I found out later too that the emergency room doctor in, at uh, EMH was in contact uh, with your stroke center at UH. They uh, advised giving the clot buster drug and then trans immediate transport to your stroke center here in Cleveland. I vaguely remember being loaded onto the helicopter. I do remember a little bit of uh, vibration, and I remember being unloaded off the helicopter and being raced down the hallways. But I remember making a lot of turns, and it was like NASCAR, it felt like. I could talk, but it was gibberish. And I found out from my uh, uh, from the doctors that I had suffered a stroke. My whole right side had collapsed, and that's why my legs w weren't working. The uh, doctors had been able to go in through um, an artery and actually thread a catheter up into my brain and remove the clot that was causing the problems. When I woke up here in UH, uh, the nurses, the doctors, I never saw so many people. They, <laughs> they were constantly, and even the doctors um, the next day who had worked on me in the operating room came in just to see how I was doing. By the next day, I was actually was starting to being able to form some words again. And by the third day, Dr. Furlan and his group came in and he took my hand, shook it. He said, well, congratulations, you're a stroke survivor. I remember. <laughs> I was home with my family in a very short time. Two days after I was struck with the stroke, we were supposed to go uh, to Maryland to visit our uh, youngest granddaughter's first birthday party. Obviously, we weren't able to make that, that party. Every time she has a birthday from now on, I think back on uh, the fact I'm still here, that I'm able to celebrate the birthdays with her and with my family. And um, to all of my caregivers at, at Elyria and uh, University Hospitals, I'm, I'm just eternally grateful. I, I just, uh, um, I just can't express it into words how much, uh, how much I appreciate it. Thank you so much.